So I guess on those two extremes, where do you sit? Is it I, I the next revolution, or are we looking at another bubble we'll navigate our way through? So I will answer to your question after. After we have a discussion of what is happening now on the market with AI JDI. And uh, when I discuss with the CEO suite of uh, service providers who are embracing this because they need to build capacity, I said to, say to me, oh, this is a, like you say, this is a hype or, or they say this will be a revolution and so on. I say, calm down. So good start. Take a breath. Take a breath. Why? Because it happened exactly the same thing on the market. It was 25, 30 years ago with SAP. Mm -hmm. If you think back, the, the birth of uh, SAP Oracle, so the ERPs on the CRMs, it was a monster story like this one, if you recall. Mm -hmm. It was exactly that. Now the question is, what do you do with AI and where you position yourselves in the value chain with AI? The big difference between uh, now and 30 years ago, the as a service did not exist. Today it exists. And today we know that with the pandemic, with uh, the hyperscalers, people are consuming. Okay, fair enough. But it is always the same schema. You have a very big software company or group of company who have the need for a lot of hardware with some hardware vendors. Okay? In the past, th there was a customer in front of that. Now, there is a service provider because people have not the money to purchase anymore this big hardware that is needed. But who is making money today on AI Genei? Is it the software vendor? Not necessarily. Is it the hardware vendor? Not necessarily. Who is making the money? The consultancy companies. Mm -hmm. Why? Because at the end of the day, I argue that most of the customers don't know what they can do with AI on Genei today yet. Uh, we have a lot of capabilities popping up, like the SAP was building their code on SPE, so we have big uh, LLM companies or I don't know what uh, on AI systems building huge code with a lot of hardware and it goes through some key service providers who are providing all of that in order it happens. Now, what the people will do with that is the next chapter. And if you look at uh, the ones that will be successful on the market, first, it will be, uh, of course, the service providers for the training of these big uh, software companies, but also the consult consultancy firms. Because there is a need for a CEO to understand what they can do with AI and Gen AI. Uh, the, the literature on uh, use cases on AI Gen AI, so people say, you can do video surveillance. Okay, but what does it mean really for my company? How I change my business model inside my company? How I, I change my processes inside my company? This is exactly the same situation and as when, uh, you know, uh, ERPs and CRMs have come, have come. Because you had a lot of consultants looking at your organization and looking at how it fits with your organization to give a business outcome. Because at the end of the day, if I need to come back also to the previous question, because I missed something in the previous question, uh, for the new generation of salespeople, always think the business outcomes of your customers. If you don't think about it, stop it. Uh, you need to qualify the business outcome of what you sell to your customers. And this is also the game here. 